Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you five techniques to help text stand out against bright backgrounds within GIMP. Um, and we're skipping the obvious one of just changing the text color here from white to black. So the first technique I'm going to show here is text shadow. Uh, this is probably the easiest method within GIMP. So when you have text created, you can go up to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow and uh, specify offsets, blur radius. In most cases, you can just uh, set a blur radius and increase the opacity if you want it to really stand out. Um, I think it defaults to 60 or so. And leave allow resizing checked uh, only if you actually want the document to resize. So in this case, I'm making a YouTube thumbnail, so I specifically want it to be 180p resolution. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see it's added some nice shadow behind the text and it makes it stand out a lot better. Uh, especially for having white text on a white background, having drop shadow is invaluable. So a similar technique we can use is to actually go to the layers, right click it and click alpha to selection. And then we're going to create a new layer. And in this new layer, we'll basically create um, a, a mirror copy of that text. But we're going to use the color black to go behind it. So it's kind of like creating drop shadow, but a little different. Um, and now that we have that, I'm going to drag the layer down below and I'm going to move that particular layer anywhere we want. So you can have it uh, basically be on any side of the text that you want. And it's like a really thick shadow that you can have behind your text. So that looks pretty good, for instance. Okay. So those are two ways. I'm going to disable that layer for right now. And the next is to create a background box. So uh, what I mean by this is rather than creating a full background uh, that's darker, we will instead select the portion of our image or thumbnail, whatever you're creating, that has text. And we're going to create uh, basically a black box behind there. You can use a pattern. You can create uh, basically anything you want to go in there. The point is to leave the main image intact while making it very visible for our text. And if you want to go a step beyond that, maybe you want part of the image to show um, behind uh, this black box, we can lower the opacity on the black box to something like 50%, and it still makes the text a lot more visible, but it also keeps the image and text in the background. So that's a cool way to do it. Uh, so let's see, transparency plus a dark background. Okay, um, the idea here is we have this background layer. You may need to create one, um, but on that background layer, uh, first, I'll uh, hide the visibility of our image. We set it to a dark color like black, or, or whatever you think works best. Black and white work well together, obviously. Um, and then we want part of this to stand out while actually having this image show. So you put a dark background color behind your image, and then we lower the opacity of the image until the text stands out enough. So I think something like 65-ish, maybe 70 here, works fine. Um, obviously, it, it kind of de-emphasizes the image in the background, but it does let your text stand out clearly. You could even combine this with text shadow or the alpha selection method I showed you earlier. Um, and the next one, let's set the opacity back to 100. This is uh, option number five is to change the hue, the contrast, and the brightness of your uh, background image until it works for you. So in the colors menu, we have uh, basically options for setting that hue, saturation, uh, brightness, and contrast. Those are probably the two you're going to want to play around with. So uh, brightness contrast is the most obvious one. Uh, we can lower the brightness a lot, and you'll notice that this kind of gives you a very similar look to the uh, idea of making it partially transparent and putting a background behind it. But we can also play around with the contrast. Maybe we want lower contrast or higher contrast. Uh, we can cancel that and uh, play around with the hue a bit. So um, if you want the background to be a certain color, maybe you have red text and you want that to go with blue text. So um, let's try changing the hue over to a blue. And then maybe we can make the text uh, red or something like that. It is a little bit of a weird way to do it, but um, it's definitely an option. Uh, that, that's probably too vibrant, so let's make it a little darker. 
Uh, well, it's not perfect, but it is a technique you can use. So probably I would say stick with contrast and brightness first, and then maybe you combine that with some hue. So let's actually try adding in some uh, brightness reduction in addition to that. And maybe we can take this text, we can make it brighter to contrast. Okay. More vivid. Okay, and that's not too bad. Uh, if I was gonna go with this particular image, I would probably also throw in some text shadow to go along with that. So, for instance, repeat the drop shadow, and uh, that makes it stand out pretty well. So that's five ways to help your text stand out against a bright background in GIMP. Uh, I hope this video has been useful for you. I have definitely tried all of these five uh, options in many of the thumbnails I create on my channel, so I know they work. And, uh, I guess I will see you guys in my future video GIMP content. So until then, thanks for watching.